Hello everyone, Yanni Plays here, and today I finished my build on Mr. Beast's build challenge. Now, before I show you around and show you some of the details, let's go ahead and run the time lapse from the whole build. I hope you enjoyed this time lapse and you may were able to guess that this one here is my interpretation of the Hanging Gardens from Babylon. Now the Hanging Gardens is one of the seven ancient wonders of the world but this one here is actually the one that we don't have a lot of information about. So far we don't even know where exactly it was built. 
But there are a lot of stories around it, and they tell that it was a multi-tier building with a lot of greenery around, that the king of this time, and I'm not going to try to pronounce his name, uh, he built that for his wife because she came from an area where there was a lot of lush green and living in an area that is pretty much in the desert there was not a lot of greenery so the king went ahead and he built this structure so that it resembles a hill of greenery now the stories also say that there was a way to water everything and it was an aqueduct that brought the water in and then the water was flowing down over the multiple tiers making sure that everything gets enough of water now my build has multiple stairways to go up into the first tier And then in the first tier, I have it split in three different areas. We have our little hedge maze. Then we have this area here with those beautiful trees with the hanging wines. Must have been a nice spot to lay down in the hot desert sun and just cool down. And also those trees are connecting to the trees in the upper level. And then next to it we have some flower gardens. And then the underwater garden. Now from this level we have four staircases, one on each side. That you can go up, walk through the dark area and then you come into this bright light area airy place here where again we have a lot of different trees some more flowers and a lot of the water features that transport the water from the aqueduct down into our next level and then the roof i try to challenge myself to go with the diagonal with something that i usually don't build and I think it turned out pretty good. We have the two domes on each side and then they are connected in the center. Now this build here is not the tallest build at all. But if I would have gone taller that would have narrowed my space that I would have down here. And then the same on each of the tiers. And I think that the tiers already are on the smaller side. I mean, especially if we look at some areas like this birch tree here. I had to already cut out some stuff, some leaves, some width. Because there was just not enough room to put something bigger there. And especially if you look at my larger trees over on this side. You can see that they take up already a whole bunch of space and those are in my opinion not even big trees at all so if i would have made it taller that meant that i would have had to add another tier and that pretty much would have cut out a lot of the space a lot of the greenery and i also think that back in the days when this build actually was built in babylon those buildings weren't as tall as what you see buildings nowadays and I think I found a very good compromise on height and width so yeah you probably can hear in my voice that this one here is a build that I am quite proud of sadly I know this one here is a competition server so once the competition is over and actually by the time that you watch this video the competition is going to be over and I am not going to be able to get into this build anymore and look at this build but that's one of the reasons why i'm making this video so i can go back and take a look at it again and i hope that you enjoyed this video too thank you very much for watching and i hope i see you at the next video